ask Tom on home show. Aaron from Missoula, Montana needs some re-roof advice. Yeah, he's in the process of re-roofing his what years, 1999 uh, manufactured home, Tom. And Aaron writes, I know most manufactured homes have beams in the way and ridge vents won't work, but it seems like my house has a ridge vent. W- is A ridge vent could work on it, he says. Here's what mine looks like. He looks at so I can see insulation in the attic and light from the soffits. Do you think adding a ridge vent would be appropriate in this case, Tom? Here's the deal with ridge vents and manufactured homes. In most cases, the double wides is where you have a problem because you have two ridges that are nailed together and you have so much wood at the top, you can't cut the slot so no air can move out. So I had one like that and down on Galveston Island and we just sealed it up tight because I, we even cut into it to take a look. And I think they had three two vies nailed together just to hold the two, two sections together. It was quite thick, so it couldn't be done. There was no reason to do it, so you seal, we sealed it up tight. If you cut a little bit of your ridge and you can cut your decking back and there's a little bit of an exposed airspace, which could be as little as three quarters of an inch, uh, you can put a ridge vent on as long as on a manufactured home you have the proper uh, slope, which means at least a 312 roof, better a 512 roof. In other words, it's steep enough where the water won't flow up into the ridge vent. And so you got to make sure it's not one of those real shallow roofs because some of the manufactured homes have a very shallow roof. But if it meets the uh, requirements on the slope and you have an opening, you can use one. Is there So what is the requirement on that? You know, it's, we just had Jim from Ideal out at our house. And uh, we're canceling vacation plans for several years to come. Uh, <laughs> so, but um, is there a certain slant? What is the minimum slant for a ridge vent, Tom? And I know that you need a certain length too for a ridge vent. Well, you you it goes by uh, in the length part per foot. It's called net free opening, I do believe. Uh, and so that's what you're looking for to give to tell you how much is going to how much air is going to flow out if you're doing calculations. In most cases, you'll have more of that than any other kind of vent you put in because they're kind of stagnant in little little holes. But this one is continuous, and that's what you're always looking for. So, the net free area that's what it's called uh, the net free area it should handle it unless you have a very short ridge. Then you have to do some other things and combine it with some other venting. But if it's long enough for a ridge, and I know your house is, Charlie, and uh, you have at least, if you have a, a single ridge and they can cut the slot down, and most ridge vents, not all, some will go go a little shallower, but most ridge vents, you want a 512 roof or close to it, a four to 512 roof is the minimum. And that means for every foot over, it drops five inches. Uh, then you have enough slope where you don't have any problems. But every ridge vent will have their specifications on there, what the minimum slope would be and what the net free area, which was the NFA, the net free area is per linear foot. Well, there. Okay. You got a question? Tom has lots of acronyms and he'll share them all with you. All you have to do is send us your question and you can send it using the form. You can fill it out or send us a video. If you send us a video, do what Aaron did. Send us a picture because it helps us do a better job because we post a new one of these every day to our YouTube channel. And you'll also find them at homeshowradio.com.